Привет, это Савейша, и я представляю вам Black Mirror. Я все еще не уверен, что я должна сделать здесь. Um, let me see the graveyard. For lack of anything else, I need to talk to the nurse. Everyone who died within the walls of the sanatorium rest here. A gloomy place. Nothing much to see. As it seems. Huh. The metal doors have no locks to prevent just anyone from entering. Why exactly? The resting place of someone of a noble family. The great ends in stone. I cannot see any lock. The great. Okay. We dropped it a little too early. It hides a few flickering candles from the rain. Okay. Nothing There's else. There's no name on it. All right. That's pretty much it then. That was anticlimactic. Right. Oh well, let me try it in the nurse again. For lack of anything else, or maybe I can talk to them, that guy again. You again? May I speak with you? No. Oh. I see you have a decent supply of beer. What if the head nurse saw those bottles? Mm -hmm. No big deal. You can see them outside. As long as she doesn't catch me with one in my hands, she has nothing <laughs> to complain about. What do you know about the graveyard at the back of the sanatorium? Well. It's a graveyard. Oh, really? Do they bury patients there? No. Nah, not anymore. But I wouldn't go there if I were you. Why? Especially not now. I'm no coward. But one never knows what can happen. Zombies? What do you think I should be afraid of? No graveyard is suitable for a midnight walk. Oh, come on. Especially not this one. You have any idea who all's lying there? Lunatics, maniacs, madmen. Oh, they are you dead meat anyway. Twist, they're there. But why am I telling you this anyway? Go where you like. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. What difference does it make? They are dead. Jim. Sorry. No, that was a lie. I know what I have to do, I just don't know how to get there. I mean, can I go back there too? No, 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 don't go to the gate. Don't do that, honey. Um, let me see. Hello? Are you done soon? May I speak with you? Sure. Can you tell me anything about the sanatorium graveyard? I have worked here for almost 12 years now, and I know next to nothing about it. Has <laughs> it always belonged to the sanatorium? As far no, as we stole it. Has. We no longer use it for burying, but it would have served its purpose in the past. <laughs> Many patients would spend their whole life here, and when their time came, they would be buried at the back of the sanatorium. But that was a long time before I started here. 
I do not know much else about that place. I need a little time here without being watched. Could you possibly do me a favor? I'd like to make a call to the manor to check if anything has changed regarding Robert. If you could show me where the phone is... I'm sorry, I can't let you inside. But I could call myself. Right. Here's the number, then. I do not need it. It is in the internal phone book. Hmm. Wait here. Sure will. Alright, let me save again, because I don't know if that's... time thing again. I don't think so, but who knows. Alright. I need to do this quickly before she returns. I mean, I believe it's not timed. I don't r remember anything being timed, pretty much, but I'm I'm not sure. Dangerous, perhaps, is a strong word for it, but, well, let's see. Now, here we go. Let's take a good look around. But the label doesn't ring a bell. How about brilliant? I've got a vase, how wonderful. Do I do with a bloody vase? Oh, come on. It has a slot of some kind at the bottom. A slot at the bottom. It has a slot. Okay. There are some coins in it. What would it have a slot for if not for a coin? Perhaps you can open it. The coin fits in the groove at the bottom. A little key was hidden there. Okay. A tiny key. It was hidden in a small vase. Great. Okay. That's probably locked. The cabinet is locked. Ah. Ah. That's how you do that. Okay. Bethanol. Hmm. I have no idea what it's good for. Me neither. Maybe a relaxant. Who knows? A strong sedative will put a person to sleep for a whole day. Sounds good to me. Cantropin diminishes headaches. I still have enough of my own pills. Some drops. Not really what I'm looking for. Anthracene? I think there is something called that. I'll check that. Um... Yeah, that's that. It took a while. No one was answering the phone this late. No problem. Did you learn anything about Robert? Unfortunately, Mr. Gordon has not returned yet. I see. Okay. Thank you for your time. You are quite welcome. It was nothing. Didn't expect... That's all. Thanks. Anything else, really? Let's... Now what we do is this, if I remember correctly. I spilt a little, but the syringe is full of sedative now. Um, we did that just before her very eyes. And now we will do something you don't do. Um, yes. Funny, it never says which sedative this is. We prepare the beer for him. I'll go with full dose so it kicks in fast. That's nice. Now, get him to drink it. Now that's um yeah, what we need to do is we need to make it uh, he said when it's getting too warm he drinks beer, so it should be possible to confuse the sensor of the thermostat with cold water. The temperature inside will rise noticeably for a while. So. Um, and now we wait. The thing is... Oh, that went quick. Can I already go in? 
Let me save again because I don't know, but I went quick. I thought I had to wait longer. I always forget that I had to hit after it. Enter two to save. Let's I've try. Got to wait a little okay. Until the okay. Kicks in. I can't yet. Let me go back to the graveyard. I don't think there is anything interesting there to look at, but perhaps I had a little conversation about it, so maybe. Not that I think so, just to spend the time. Really, um. That's why I. Yes, didn't want to go there first. But there is absolutely nothing here that I can really look at. I remember vaguely that I'm getting getting rid of this shrub at one point. I don't know. <coughs> Let me see if that did the trick, unless. I mean, unless if not, we will go back to the nurse. Looks good. Um, now what? Mustn't make much noise. I could wake him up. Depends on the sedative. It's not locked, but I can't open it while he's leaning on it. I don't want to wake him up. Why not? There's that the sedative guy. in the beer did the trick. Hopefully, he won't wake up before I make it inside. Highly doubt it. The sedative in the... He's sleeping like a rock. He's sleeping... Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Let's look at that thing. There is a valve, but I can't do anything An with it. An intense heat is coming out of it. This place is very hot. Coal. More coal. A large heap of coal. The building consumes a lot of heat. Black it's a coal. large building. Nothing else. There's something buried between the coal fragments. The hell? The hell? A strong, sharp thread. A dirty, rough rag doll. Oh well. I mean, really now? Okay. Oh, a power box. The main switchboard. I had better not touch it. Panel. Ah, uh, yes. I don't have any idea. There's an intercom system installed in the building. Great. I don't know what message to broadcast. Me neither. I don't know. Okay. Got it. Uh, key. I wonder what door it opens. I'll take it. It's certainly going to be useful. Lots of old leaflets, posters, and newspaper pages. Ah, now I understand what my notes say too, because they said 1918. That is probably the cut for the door. For the door. I have a pin now. Its tip is as sharp as a needle. Work Very schedule well. of that sooty bully. <coughs> He's off duty for a while now. Messenger of the gods. Sounds familiar. Does it? Well then. An old oil lamp and an empty bottle of cheap whiskey. Give it here. Nothing useful. Should be good for mixing at least. Oh, a vent. The only source of clean air leading here. Ah, uh, useless locker. I don't think that the... Let me try that. Nothing. It's not connected. Oh, there is a... Oh. Something's missing here. Huh.
Be silent! Christ. Christ! That was close. He almost noticed me. I have to lure him out of that hole somehow. There is no other way to reach James's cell. Ah, uh, yes, um, do you, do you do it? No, I don't. Uh, no, not really. Um, um, perhaps, I mean, if there's a duty roster for that guy, then there must be one for the doctors too. Maybe I... Yes, I know what I've got to do. Figuring out what I meant in my notes is almost as bad as figuring out the game itself. It's because I assumed I wouldn't forget it so easily, but I did. <laughs> May I speak with you? Sure. Something just occurred to me. Can you possibly lend me the main duty schedule of all the employees? Do you not think anyone will mind if you have a look at it? Although I have no idea how it's going to help you. Who knows? Maybe something will reveal itself. All right. Here it is. Thank you. I'll return it when I've read it. That won't be necessary. It is already the end of the week. I must issue a new one anyway. Right, we've got that. At least we know what that guy's That's called. All. Thanks. A complete Ashbury Sanatorium duty schedule for this week. Let me go back because there was the intercom. And my notes said nurses schedule intercom, but I couldn't really read it too. That's the next part. But in essence, it is what I'm doing. Got the it, the schedule from her. Still sleeping. Ah no, where is he here? No, there. Come on. Doctor Smith, please come to the lobby. What? Possibly want from me this late? <laughs> Damn! I guess I must. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, oh, Robert, let me dig in it. It's empty. Interesting. <laughs> this leads back to the hall, but I can't go there. All the cells are locked. I've got to find James's cell first. Who's there? Who is th there? Shut up! I have to say something before he gives me away. I am Samuel. I am Ralph. We can't speak for too long, okay, Ralph? I do know one Samuel, but not quite, though. Why can't we talk, Samuel? Well, we can, but we have to speak quietly, or better yet, whisper. All right, speak quietly, Samuel. I need to know something. Will you help me? I... the nurse says I'm good. But now I'm very sad. I will help you when I'm not sad, okay? And why are you Fair sad? Fair enough. Well... 
I said, Bobby. Who is Bobby? Did he do something to you? N no. Mr. Bobby is very kind. He is my friend. But now he's gone, and I d don't know where. Perhaps I made him angry s somehow. And what does he look like, this Mr. Bobby? Maybe I can help you find him. He, he, he's no animal. He's very clever and t talks to me often. And what does he look like? Mm, he, he's not t tall like us. He is sh short, but very handsome. Oh, okay. If I find him for you, will you help me? Yes, yes. The hell? The hell? Didn't get lost. You'll be searching hard, won't you, Samuel? Don't be afraid. I'll find him. It's probably a toy. Oh. Where could he have lost it? Thanks, game. I couldn't have or wouldn't have made this conclusion right now. Right. Trays and dirty mugs. Nothing that would interest me. Oh. Another farm. Just garbage. Trash. Let's see. There's something in it. The head of a doll. Oh, Christ. The head of a little doll. Oh, well. <laughs> I've got to connect. The pin served almost as well as a needle would. Yeah. Ralph's Bobby is complete now. A bit dirty, probably. It holds together as good as new. Broken. It's hanging on only one hook. It leads from the switch to that light. It's hanging. Turn it off again. Why did I think it wasn't working again? <laughs> the fencing is very strong. I can't do anything with it with bare hands. The fencing is... Okay. No water is running into it. Okay. Um, there is nothing further down here. Let me do that. <laughs> Ralph, Mr. Bobby is fine again. Here he is. Oh, that's very good. I'm glad he's here with me again. Mr. Bobby says he is glad too. Thank you, Samuel. You have been very kind to us. I must speak with Mr. Bobby now. I haven't seen him for so long. Hold on, Ralph. You promised to help me if I can find Mr. Bobby for you. But now I want to be alone with Mr. Bobby f for a while. Yeah, well, you know. Ralph, Mr. Bobby is sad that you don't want to help me. Ask him. <laughs> yes. Mr. Bobby says that, that he will help you too. Me and Mr. Bobby too. How the? Do you know someone called James? James is my friend too. He and Mr. Bobby. I need to know which room he lives in. He, he lives next to me, right next door. But James isn't home now. I know. Have you noticed where they put the key to his door? Is it somewhere nearby? Perhaps in some cabinet? No. It's not. Dr. Smith, who guards us, has got all the keys. Do you know that for sure? Yes. When we go to the corridor, he opens the door for all of us. But I don't think he's going to lend the key to you. He's very hard. Oh, never mind. Drat! Smith is returning. We had better not speak any longer. Maybe later. Maybe later. 
Okay, Samuel. So, the doctor has the keys. How do I get them? Yes, how do you get them? Hmm. The fencing is very strong. I've got an idea. No. I just need to flip the switch. No one will notice. I've got to attract attention somehow. How do? As though I've heard. Right. I must hide. <laughs> hey, what is going on over there? Yes, that's a very good hiding place. <laughs> he fell. He fell. Did you see it, Mr. Bobby? <laughs> How did you take that without getting I electrocuted? Hope I, hurt him. I think he's going to be all right. How do you know? Perhaps he's dead. The keys to all the cells. I think. Uh, that's getting there. <laughs> the cell is locked. Yeah, of course it is. I I can't get it into my head. Awful place. A normal person would not survive a single month in here. I should examine the cell before someone catches me. A normal person wouldn't survive a single month in here. Oh uh, yes, they would. And it's just as horrible for someone who isn't, as you say, normal, friend. Pages from various books, even the Bible. Some paragraphs are crossed out, some softly underlined. Oh, I'd be interested to know which. It's broken. The only functional light is above the door. I don't think I want to know what's in it. <laughs> Disgusting. These are horrible conditions indeed. They are, yes. Hi, are you going to look at it too? A couple of pencils and some blank sheets of paper. Nothing interesting. That's what you say. Images of terrified faces drawn with charcoal. One of the strange drawings of James's mind. I know what's behind that one. Am I the only one who's waiting for a jump for a jump scare of some sort in this moment? Not that there's one coming, but mm. Yeah, why not pick it up? Let me see. A dark picture that James painted. One of the strange drawings. 
This drawing is crumpled, as if someone threw it away and then put it back on the wall. I'll try to remove it. You do that, honey. Hi. There's a jump scare for you. Ralph, can you hear me? Yes, Samuel, I can hear you. Good. Can we talk now? You found Mr. Bubby for me, so you're my friend now. I like Fair friends enough. a lot. Do you know that? Uh, uh, yes. So, what was it that you wanted to talk to us about, Samuel? You said you are scared of the head doctor. Yes. Very. He, he's not a good man, Samuel. Why are you afraid of him? He often shouts at us, and he's very strict. But I'm mostly afraid of him at night. He sometimes goes around to our rooms, and then something happens to somebody. Tell me more. Once at night, he also came to me, gave me some medicine, and after that, I was b very sick. He s said he would give me more if I told anyone. Y you will not tell him that I t told you, will you, Samuel? I won't tell him anything. I don't know if I could bear more medicine. When no, did you, you last see the head doctor? I think it was that time he was shouting at James. I didn't see him the next night, and I didn't see him today either. I hope he will be gone for a long time. Why would Robert administer medicine secretly at night? Because it's some sort of mineral. Be hiding something. Why else? Tell me about James. Do you know why he ran away? I think he no longer liked it here, and also, he was scared a lot. What was he afraid of? I can tell you, you, you won't tell anybody, will you? First of I won't, Ralph. He was afraid of the head doctor. He's an uncle, great. I too am afraid of Mr. Head Doctor, but James was really scared. Why was he afraid of him? He, he came once to, to James in the middle of the night, and they were talking for a long t time. I was listening th through this hall. Mr. Head Doctor was shouting at James a lot. Did you hear what they were talking about? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you must have heard something. Yes, if Only they were shouting so loud. Words, really. Just a couple. Something about a William somebody and a c castle. I can't remember anymore. I was scared. Okay, Ralph. Robert was probably quarreling with James about his possible return to the castle. But why didn't Robert want to let him go home? Oh well, uh, my signal already rang. I have a faint idea what I will have to do next. I have to examine the bed and stuff. Um, yeah, that was Savasia and the Black Mirror, and one of the most unfriendly places in the entire game. Provider.